Hey guys, I'm Edward with Everything Kayak. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this. This is going to be kind of a run through of the installation of the marine mat. Uh, with the marine mat, that's an EVA foam padding. They do a ton of color variations. You can do custom logos, custom cuts, custom patterns. Um, if you have any questions, you want to tag into it, you can always reach us through our website or you can hit us up through the YouTube video or call us at the shop at 228-865-1000. Other than that, guys, we're going to kind of go through the process that we step through. Um, one, generally, when we get a kit, what we're going to start off with, and you can see some of this is already in, we're going to lay these pieces, see how they're fitting out, make sure we understand on which piece goes where. A lot of these kits, there's some pieces that look exactly the same with very little variance, but that's going to dictate on what side, what edge that goes to. And then we'll look. Some of these are going to have a contour. Always remember, man, these boats are, these rotomolded boats, They've got a, different tolerances on some of this stuff, so try and get it as squared up as you can. What we'll generally do is, like you see here, we're going to lay it down, make sure those pieces go where they're supposed to be. We'll pick it up. Again, usually what we'll do piece by piece, so what we'll do is we'll start here. I'm going to lay down this piece. We'll get this one out of the way. Um, we're going to use some denatured alcohol, and what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and help prep that area. This is going to remove any of the oils from your hands, any contaminants from the build, it being in the shop, it being set up. Make sure you get your corners and everything really good. And then the other focus is going to make sure that this dries completely before you put it down. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to not touch that given area. So when we get this down, we don't have to worry about that intrusion. Again, making sure it's specced up. With a large piece, you can actually peel back part of your backing and then move from there. That way you can adjust. Um, this one I should be able to just lay as an entirety. We'll show that peel back process when we do this large hatch here, if I can get it to come off. All right. So the other thing about peeling partial is I don't want to get any fingerprints on this. That again is going to cause contaminant into the adhesive and from there we're not going to get the stick we want. So we're going to lay it on the side. Remember this tail end back here is not going to adhere yet, so we can get that squared up where we want it. This one we want pushed all the way in the edge, and it's going to sit nice and flush right there. So I'm going to start with that edge and get around this fish finder here. We'll put a little pressure there, make sure we're squared up. I'm going to pull this off all the way, keep my hands to the top side, get it pushed back, and then sit it. So from this point here, as we apply that, we want to make sure that makes contact and eases its way down so we don't get any air bubbles underneath there. Air bubble gets created, you can either get extra fatigue on that matting where that air bubble is, or if that air bubble is to the side, it doesn't get adhered, you start getting water, you start getting debris under there, and as it travels through, it reduces the contact of that adhesive. Um, so we like to stick it and try to kind of roll it all the way down. The other thing we're going to look at is making sure we get the edges really well. Um, those can be a little tricky, especially when we talk about contoured areas. Um, some of the other boats in the floors are a bit more contoured. You got to approach that properly, make sure you're good to go. Um, pressing on this, you want to be very firm with it, but we don't want to put so much pressure that we actually squeeze that foam down, pushing that glue away from the application point, because that's going to give you a spot that's not going to stick as well. So we'll run there. Now we're going to ease over to here. We're going to move this piece off. Tell you what, we're actually going to do the other large piece, so we'll prep that area. A lot of times you don't really want to get this too much on the, uh, the existing mat, so we can spray the boat a little bit, but it's a lot easier to control if we actually just put it on the rag. Um, this is just a standard microfiber rag we use in the shop for everything. Um, but with that said, make sure you're not using a rag that's going to have any grease or any contaminants that are going to prevent the... Uh, process of getting that clean. And again, after we prep that area, we want to avoid struggling here, guys, sorry. We want to avoid contact with that with your hands to stop any kind of oils or anything like that applying to it. Really went in. Here we go. Hold up. I think I got it. All right. There we go. So again, we're not going to touch that back. We want to get that set down. We'll watch that tail in because on this application, there's some screws back there. Make sure we get squared up all the way up to the front. Everybody looks good. You gotta watch the roll in the in the edge there. Make sure that's not gonna get into it. And again, we're gonna apply that in the direction. 
make sure that one stays back. And what that's going to do is that's going to prevent us from having any kind of issues with air or getting a stretch or a crooked lay. There we go. So nice and squared up. Look at these pushed down. Like we said, your fit can be a little weird sometimes because of the roto mold tolerances are going to be a little different. Um, but generally, Marine Matt is extremely good about it. Uh, great customer service with these guys as well. Um, I know I've harassed Jennifer up there all the time about stuff. Um, she's really quick to respond back on emails, all that kind of good stuff. So now we'll go ahead and prep this. Another fun thing with the colors, guys, is there's so many options. Um, you can do alma maters, um, branches of the military. If you want to match something specific, you can tie in with it. So the big thing here, what we're going to try and do is keep our spacing side to side applied. Like I said, apply that pressure in a straight direction. Edges. All right, so that's that. We'll move up to the big hatch here. So again, this is where peeling back that, that backer and staging it, we'll hand that off is going to be something you got to play with um, because this piece is going to be large enough where it's going to be a little cumbersome to handle. It's going to want to stick on you, things like that. Um, also, if I didn't mention it earlier, you want to make sure that this area gets dry after you spray it. And then again, don't rub it with your hand like I just did um, after wiping it down. Um, also, you'll see we did something different with the bungee here. This is going to prevent prevent the gouging of the marine mat EVA foam stuff as you uh, do your setup. So we're going to peel that back a little bit. Like we said, spacing on this can be fun because we have the contoured edges. So with your backer on, you can kind of lay it down, get it squared up and see how you're going to like it. Kind of like that. So we're going to start, peel that backer off that front section there. That seems to be nice and squared up. We'll come find that tail end, work it back a little bit. Also guys, this piece here with this model is a great place to put an insignia, logos, um, prints, images, whatever you want to do. There's so much surface area on this piece here. It's outstanding to apply some custom stuff to. And also, what we'll suggest to you, um, keep an eye on it. If you're going to apply like this, don't throw it in the back of the truck or load it up and haul it. Give it some cure time. You want to make sure you're not going to get any peeling up, especially if you've got a lot of moisture outside, really humid areas where it's been raining. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not going to fight into that because traveling, you're going to get some intrusion under there. You want to make sure it's perfectly cured before that. So with that said, that is going to be the application of some of the Marine Mat EVA foam kits. If you have any questions, hit us up. Um, as always, you know, feel free to follow us, subscribe so you can get notifications whenever we do anything. If you got any detailed questions, uh, hit us up in the comments. Cheers.